coding and what can be coded okay so a so few questions like is it possible to code accordingly for pattern recognition like double top bottom head and shoulders flags and pennants etc in different stocks and set signals accordingly to get an alert among hundreds of stocks what language do you use when constructing a new algo which one do you choose r or python is c++ the required language what are the limitations of a no code algo training platform so so there were a lot lot many um, which were which but which can be um, pretty much concised or um, uh, put together in these uh, variations of these questions now first thing first what can be coded whatever you can think of you think of in a in a certain logical manner so does the computers in a binary way okay uh, we obviously our brains are way more complex as the even the most advanced uh, uh, computers but they are getting there so whatever you can think of that can be coded plain and simple but can it be coded with extreme ease like it can be a very simple strategy or very simple idea in your mind but it might be a nightmare to code it okay because what is needed is that in a programming language you need certain level of clarity huge amount of clarity which is needed okay and um, for the system so that's why you might have heard of uh, uh, most of the coders or programmers they write pseudo code before writing a code right so which uh, uh, are small chunks of uh, overall logic that this is how it will go and then you start programming because you cannot leave anything um, uh, anything um, uh, unturned right so everything has to be covered while programming while writing down a code otherwise it will be disastrous right so so that's there now um, what are the easiest one easiest programs to code anything which is a basic formula say all your technical indicators or uh, any filters right or any if else based condition um, uh, conditional strategies right so if this happens then do this if the market goes to this le this level then do this whatever all those things they are like really simple you can do them very very easily now another thing can be that okay that's all right but if i want to either go a bit abstract which is the first question here which is uh, uh, looking at the pattern recognition or the waves now the thing is till the time you can give the rules that's okay all right so till the time you're able to define it for the for your code that's that's pretty much doable it's not very difficult it will be slightly difficult as compared to just doing a technical indicator but uh, it's not that difficult and um, uh, there has been tools and platforms which has been doing it for like like long ago when we started there was uh, this i think they are still there recognia which i think bloomberg acquired if i'm not wrong um i don't recall but yeah but recognia used to do that that where you will be uh, you uh, set what kind of uh, uh, patterns you're looking for and you set the investment universe or the stock universe and it will keep on uh, uh, giving out alerts and this was pre-2010 right so more than 10 11 12 years back um, today there are a lot of libraries which are out there uh, where you can use them to uh, identify the patterns okay identify various technical patterns which are already defined in those libraries or you can create your own uh, where you have defining the libraries now uh, defining the patterns now interesting thing is that uh, now with the advent of machine learning a lot of people are also using or taking the help of machine learning to identify the patterns now the good part is that since the patterns are more or less already defined so you can uh, use most of the supervised learning algorithms themselves right so they are way less complex as compared to say uh, the other ones unsupervised ones not complexity but but yeah it's more uh, easier to imagine i guess so uh, so you can even use those uh, techniques for um, uh, for building or uh, training your uh, uh, models for identifying the patterns and uh, generating the alerts or the trading signals itself okay so, so that's there now another thing is often about the different languages should i be using r should i be using c plus should i be using python now 
programming languages keeps on changing okay keeps on changing as in the uh, the which one is the most popular or the relevant one in the industry that keeps on changing there was a time when we started epad way back in 2010 c++ ruled the roost algo trading meant for that time it meant high frequency trading there was hardly any other use cases for algorithmic trading because there was a lot of uh, uh, alpha which was still out there for indian markets and uh, uh, the same thing which would have happened in the uh, late 80s and early 90s in us markets as well so so at that time uh, if you were doing it you the speed was the uh, was the thing was the thing that would uh, give you the that alpha and uh, if it is about speed then c++ was one of the best languages which were available at that time in the mainstream uh, which were way faster as compared to all the other most of the languages so so c++ is what used to be covered even in the, even in the epad program at that time but over time uh, the algo trading spread more to the non-institutional non-prop players as well which is the retail professional traders as well as the individual traders so we started seeing a lot of action from there and and why it was happening was because it was no longer just an arms race in terms of uh, these fastest player wins but also in terms of uh, creating or generating the different sources of alpha using the different modules especially using the data science modules which were available right and um, this that revolution across industries not just in the financial markets but across industries was being led by python okay so python came to the uh, to the fore to the front and um, it started replacing the other languages uh, as the language of choice for uh, most of the uh, uh, most of the industry players uh, across different industries as well as in the financial markets another thing that python did was uh, with the advent and the spread of uh, python since it was being used for across the across the ecosystem not just for uh, uh, the execution side just to create execution algorithms but even for the analysis even for the statistical back testing right so so all those things what it also ended up doing was that it also replaced r okay so r used to be extremely popular for statistical analysis and it's a wonderful language like right? so so those of you who have been on the programming side and uh, for for quite some time now and uh, have done statistical analysis say at least for more than 10 years you would uh, you might be a big lover of r and um, but the problem is that uh, one language wins generally right so so python since it was becoming more and more popular so it has dwarfed up upon r as well now so so yeah so so our python is the language of choice these days at least and um, i believe um, we will be um, the days of python will continue uh, to be there for uh, at least in the foreseeable future uh, thanks to it being open source and um, uh, extensive usage in uh, in data science and machine learning so so that's there now another question is uh, limitations of a no code algo trading platform so this was another very popular question which uh, uh, comes through now the thing is that it doesn't matter whether it's a coding platform and no code trading platform what matters is whether a platform which you have is it a rule based engine or is it a cp engine right so what do we mean by that a rule based engine does like you give it certain inputs that if this then do this okay so so rule based engine will do that which means that it's great but you cannot do a lot of a um, uh, lot of um, uh, things or you cannot try out different strategy ideas over there so your strategy universe is always going to be limited if it is a cp engine complex event processing engine which means that it has memory it has um, a, a more advanced level of uh, analyzing things and strategy building that you can do so you can integrate machine learning algorithms not just from the perspective of using the machine learning um, uh, algorithms output which is again a, a rule based engine right so which is again if else but if you want to um, even create those uh, systems or use the libraries directly on those systems so so there for that you will need a CEP engine if you need say if you want to know that your strategy input or the strategy is based on 
what your strategy did x amount x time back uh, and y trades back right a combination of that and you want to use that in the current um, uh, in the current um, in the current time uh, while executing then a rule based engine will not do so that's the that's the there's the key difference otherwise uh, whether it's code no code till the time it um, uh, addresses your requirements doesn't matter it's more of whether what is the uh, universe of strategies or strategy paradigms that you can work on uh, on that platform so so yeah